Well, despite a positive macro backdrop of the most synchronized global growth environment in many years, and unemployment rates in the developed world rivaling multi-decade lows, we've seen some significant clouds come back onto the horizon, mostly driven by tightening US monetary policy and escalating trade tensions. Over the last few months, we've also seen global markets drop considerably, but overall valuation levels are still high when compared to history. Well, like we've always done, forecasting macro events remains a futile exercise in our view, and we continue to assess opportunities from the bottom up. Uh, we've learned over time that the best opportunities are usually found in times of fear and uncertainty. Uh, this usually results in less competition for assets and also in a higher chance of mispricings. Um, over the last few months, and as I alluded to earlier, we've seen some clouds come back onto the horizon. So we've found some great opportunities in areas such as global real estate, specifically US retail property, in European telecoms, in consumer companies such as niche retailers, also in the shipping space, and then specifically in Japanese financial companies. Areas we are currently not finding opportunities in are in global technology companies, in the FANG type companies. So that's the Facebooks, Apple, Netflix, Googles of the world, where we think the odds of success are considerably stacked against us.